98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. That is Tayo Cruz and Dynamite. 6.50. Chris and Amy in the morning. I'm Chris Parker, and we've got uh, Jill Hawkins sitting in for Amy Van Dyke. And today, Amy will be back on Monday. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Thank you so much for coming in and being uh, up early with the rest of us. Isn't it nice to see the sunrise, though? It's beautiful to see, see the sunrise. As I find a positive spin It about sure it. is. We're all like, oh, I hate you so much right now. I hate you. <sighs> I'm so good. I'm just going to, why don't I Why don't I just turn my, my stupid alarm clock to that annoying beep? <laughs> I wake up to him every day. I hate him. So here's a quick question for you. <clears throat> and you've been married, Jill, for how many years? Uh, three and a half-ish. Three and a half. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when your husband proposed to you. Yes. Right. He shows up, and I don't know how the whole process went down, but I'm assuming he shows up and does something very romantic. Yep. Something maybe cute. Yeah, it was cute. It was very cute. Okay, I'm going to give him the benefit of that. He's cute. I'm sure he's doing something <laughs> very cute. And he shows up and he's on bended knee and he opens and opens up this, this little box. Mm-hmm. And he says, babe, I love you. You're the only, you, you complete me. You're the missing piece to my puzzle. Look at you. Will you marry me? And you, of course, tear up mm-hmm. and start doing <gasps> hyperventilating. And you say, yes. Right? Yep. Marital bliss. He puts the ring on your finger. It's a nice time, and it looks good. Yep, sure does. And you say, "Oh my gosh, babe, it's beautiful." You didn't have to get. You didn't have to do this. And he says, "No, I love you that much." And somehow the conversation turns to, "Well, where did you get it?" And he says, "I got it at Costco, <laughs> babe." <laughs> oh boy, I got it at Costco. Yeah, I'm not liking that conversation. Two six zero nine eight seven zero. Now I know love is love. Love is love. Is love is love. And whether it's a toy plastic ring out of a Cracker Jack box or you know from Tiffany's, of course, you know it shouldn't matter. But it does. But it kind of does. A little bit. I mean, a little bit. You well, know, because you have to tell the story. Of course. There, if if you say that you went to Walmart, you know, while you're grocery shopping and you picked up the wedding ring, that's not so romantic. That's the thing. Well, Costco now sells an, a diamond ring at this for, I want to say, it's over a million dollars. It's uh, it's a 6.7 carat diamond ring. They're selling it for a million bucks. And it's a great deal. Yeah, um, it's a good deal. It's been valued at $1.6 million. They're selling it at a million. Um. If your husband or fiance shows up with a ring, which I'm sure is beautiful, and then he says, oh, I got it at Costco or Walmart. Oh, boy. Because Walmart sells diamonds, too. Yes, I do. Yeah. So so then what? You'd never do it. Do you ever tell your girlfriends Oof. that, oh, my God, yeah, uh, uh, your husband's name is Brad. Brad got the ring at Walmart. So I'm sitting around with all my girlfriends having a glass of wine. Oh, my God, girl, look at that ring. And she says, did you get it at Jared? Look at that rock. Did, did you go to Jared? You know. Whatever. He went to Jared. No, he went to Walmart. <laughs> that would never happen. Well. It would what, never happen. Well, I mean, it's the same diamond. I wouldn't diamond tell is anybody. A diamond, diamond, a diamond is, a diamond. is a diamond, but there's a story that goes with it, and you cannot tell someone that you bought the ring at Costco. Hey, you know what? If you're getting a diamond, you, you, don't, you don't think that uh, having a, a, a ring valued at $1.6 million that you only paid a million for, that's, a, that's $600,000. That's, that's a 60% profit. Yeah, but there's just, there's no way. I, I I mean, I can understand why someone would do it. I just know that he probably wouldn't tell the truth, and you would not tell your girlfriends that that's how it went down. All right. I like Costco. You I do? know for a fact they sell high-end watches there. Okay. Breitling watches, which are, are real high-end. They retail for like seven grand, I think. Which is for you, not for your wife. No, I understand that. Still. So what if you were buying the diamond ring for yourself at Costco? That's okay. <laughs> Mar- is it Marvella? Yes, it is. Marvella from Gilbert. Hi, how are you doing? It's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of V's and oh. <laughs> um, So I love Costco because I go there, I get my energy shots. I go there, I get, you know, 50 packages of hot dogs Toilet and paper. 10 things of macaroni and cheese. I'm with you. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. So so your husband or your fiance comes Ex- home. Ex-fiance. Ex-fiance. Oh. Ex- okay. Well, <laughs> well, apparently he didn't go to Costco. Apparently. No, he didn't. no. So he comes home with a ring and says, babe, I love you. And, and this is your new fiance. So you love him so much. Mm-hmm. And he puts this ring on your finger and it's a beautiful ring. It's glimmering. And he, somehow it comes up. Where'd you get it? Costco. Oh. Does that lose some of the shine? I don't think so. No. Not at all? No, not at all for me. Like I said, my ex fiance bought me mine at the same company, but he bought the cheapest ring he could find. Okay. So to be going to Costco, if you buy a quality ring, I think there's no problem with that. Mm-hmm. It's like going to Fleming's and and buying going in, t- someone taking to Fleming's and ordering water and salad. Okay, as opposed to going <laughs> to uh, to Applebee's and getting a bourbon steak. Exactly. That's okay, an that's a great analogy. Yeah, thank you, uh, Marvella. We appreciate the call. Okay, let's grab one more here. Uh, we got. Oh no! Yes, 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 yes. We have one. Sherry, good morning. Good morning. Sherry, your husband bought your ring at Costco. Yes, he did. Oh, I'm loving And I'm this. sure it's a beautiful ring. 
it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I could care less where it was at because he bought it for me from his heart. And that's all that really matters, I think. Did you pick it out with him? Did you go to Costco well, with him? First of all, that's a whole other discussion, than picking it out. Because I, I, think people, <laughs> I think women who pick out their own rings... And no, I didn't pick it out. I, he I picked disagree. it out himself. So he picked it out himself. When you're with your girlfriends... And you're having coffee or a glass of wine, and they say, "Oh, girlfriend, can I just use the term girlfriend? Do you guys yeah, all call right. each other girlfriend?" Not all the time? really, but okay. okay. I'm going to pretend you do. Girlfriend, that's a beautiful ring. Where'd you get that? Where did he get? Where did he go? And you say Costco. What's the reaction? <laughs> they actually didn't care. Really? They, they're like, "Wow, that's awesome. That's so yeah, beautiful." Yeah, to your, to your face <laughs> until, until you leave. To your face, like, they're oh going. They're going. That's a nice ring, but really? gosh, girls need. She needs to stop telling people we got it at Costco. What if, what if you would have went to Walmart? Well, that's a different subject. Why? Why? <laughs> one's, one's a price club, one's a discount store. Come on. Call I don't prices. know. I don't know. That's just totally different. I don't I don't know. Double I don't standards. compare Costco and Walmart to the same thing. I mean. Oh, my goodness. Really? Have you seen? Listen, I've, I've been to both in the last week, and I can tell you right now, there's not that big of a difference between the people going to both stores. Not a big difference at all. All right, well, listen. Not necessarily the people, but quality of stuff. I do think Costco carries better okay. quality than Walmart. All right, fair enough. Sherry, thank you for calling and sharing. We appreciate it. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. Chris and Amy in the morning. Jill Hawkins sitting in for Amy. And Nicole on the phone. Nicole, go. Good morning. Nicole, go ahead. I personally think it doesn't matter where the ring comes from as long as it's from the heart and it's truth, emotion, and feeling. So somebody says, I got it at Walmart. I, I personally wouldn't care. You personally wouldn't care? No, because if you love them, it shouldn't matter. Well, of course you're going to love them, and you're not right. going to say no, but are you telling me there's a little hint of an, a hint inside of you that's not going to want to tell your girlfriends where you got it? I'd tell them I wouldn't care. Laura, Piaria, good morning. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, my husband got my ring at Costco as well, and I agree with the other two callers that called in. And uh, I'm a practical woman, I'm a logical woman, and if he can save money, that will take us far in the future. So. Right. Okay, listen, I agree with you, Laura, but uh, uh, Jill is shaking her head. You're telling me yep. that even from, let's look at things from, from purely financial. Okay. That Brad, if he were to have gone, let, uh, how big is your ring? How big is your engagement it's, ring? It's not even a carrot. Okay, so if he could have gotten you a carrot and a half, yeah. if he would have gone to Walmart, no, for the, no, for the same price no. that he paid for that. No? No. Why? Why? Because it's... It doesn't have Walmart stamped on the diamond. Because it doesn't have Walmart stamped on the gold. He, the fact that he went into Walmart to, you know, buy a can of soup when he so, wasn't feeling well, and then he decided to buy my engagement ring. It's not. A, it's just. What I don't get it. Maybe I'm, you're the chicken in his chicken noodle soup. Did you think of that? I hope I am the chicken. <laughs> there you go, Laura. Tell me if I'm wrong here. But if Brad, mm-hmm. Jill's husband, is at Walmart uh, <laughs> and he happens to pick up an engagement ring, I'm pretty sure he's not there to buy toilet paper. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> having been married once, having made that decision, there's not once that I walked in to buy something as important of, as an engagement ring and thought, gosh, you know, I could really use a, a three pack of tidy whities as well. You would never walk into one of those stores and, get, and buy that ring. Ever. Well, I would never wear tidy whities. Oh, see you, bye.